issue you wanted to know about um, uh, burning uh, your uh, DVD so if you click start I have a couple tools here the virtualization tools so we have burn aware free and we have downloads so under your downloads that's where it's going to show your virtual uh, DVD I ISO so we have the BNA forms 2014 portfolio and archive and then BNA practice uh, so you wait the way that we get those uh, in there is we uh, click start click burn aware free we're going to copy to an image. We're going to take your, you know, DVD or CD and copy that to an ISO image. Of course, you're going to have your, you know, ISO or your not your ISO, but your actual CD or DVD in the E drive, the physical E drive of the, of the server, and so that'll show up. And then the destination is going to be uh, this uh, path and this directory, and you can just give this, you know, a name, new DV. DVD whatever it's called click save and then click copy and then that ISO is going to be created obviously it's it's going it's well maybe you have something in there I don't know what's what's in that DVD but whatever's in that DVD is actually creating that image right now I'm gonna cancel it um, and uh, delete if that would have continued, it would have saved it under this path, under Downloads, Virtual DVD, ISO. Then you want to go to the Hyper-V Manager, select the virtual machine that you're working with, in this case, VSN Scaly 0915. Right-click on that, and then you want to go up to Settings. When you click Settings, that opens up, and then you can adjust the virtual DVD. So choose the, the uh, DVD image that you want to replace. Uh, you have the option of uh, those three DVDs, so it can be any one of those three. In this case, is BNA Forms November 15. We're going to click Browse and choose a different image. So, you know, in this case, we're going to choose the image that we just created, BNA Forms November 2015. Click Open, and when you click Open, click OK. Now, what that does is that mounts that image so that it's ready to run. So you can go back to your machine, use remote desktop, log into the server, um, and then when you log into the server, what you'll see is that your new image that you just created now shows up as if you inserted that CD in the DVD drive.